One of the highlights this season is the main harvest of the Terrazzo Koi Farm. Only the best koi from this breeder and his customers swim in this single mud pond. It's a sunny day and the whole family is helping with the harvest today. This year without any audience, no customers and no invitees. I'm very happy that we can attend the main harvest of Terrazzo Koi Farm this year in Japan. I would like to thank the Terrazzo family for sending all the videos. On this way, during these hard times, we're able to bring this harvest into your living room. Chiyoshi and Homara-san have started capturing the koi. Several dozen Jumbo koi have been able to enjoy this enormous mud pond for months. It is hard work. Three quarters of the water has been removed from the mud pond, so it's easily and accessible. But it continues to be hard work. The heavy bags with koi have to be brought to the car via a steep and smooth clay wall. The koi breeder has been working towards this moment for months. The mud ponds are checked twice a day by his staff. Nothing should go wrong during the growing season. Every breeder has limited space, so it must always be carefully considered which koi has the potential to grow into a koi of this quality. Years and even a century of experience and knowledge have passed on the current generation of the Torazo koi farm. It's time to take a closer look at the mud pond. Chossi and Homare lift the koi out of the water one by one. With the tranquility and experience, it seems as if it is the simplest task in the world. Nothing could be further from the truth, because it's extremely difficult to lift the koi like they do. It's time to get back to greenhouse. Loaded with koi, Chiosi drives out of the mountains area towards the koi farm back in Ojia. To make sure everything is done safely, Torazo checks everything one more time. Yeah. 
catching the koi, the travel time, measuring and inspecting the fish must be done carefully. The mornings in this period of the year are therefore often dominated by the harvest, followed by the opening of the store in the afternoon. Dealers from all over the world come here to buy their new koi fish. It seems easier than it is. But Omare is working hard to ensure that their supply of new fish runs smoothly. Omare is Yuki's husband. Yuki Kawakami is Chosi's daughter and has been working on the farm for many years. The Terrazzo Koi Farm has been around for over 100 years. It's a famous name in Niigata. The knowledge that has been passed down from generation to generation is invaluable when it comes to breeding these koi fish. Thank you for watching, don't forget to leave a comment and like the video. I have selected two special videos for you, you can watch right now.